recording of A Dark Star in New York with uh, my friends Glenn Phillips on guitar, uh, Joey Barron on drums, Kermit Driscoll on bass, and Hank Roberts on cellos. We just learned it, rehearsed it, and did it. So that was the first time. And then after I did that, I got home and some friends of mine said, boy, it's really had a good time. Why don't we play it at gigs a few times? And we did, and it started to develop a lot more. And I started to feel a lot more comfortable with it, letting it go in all kinds of different directions. Because the point for me is not to imitate the Grateful Dead, but to use this great musical vehicle that they had to express themselves with, to, to express ourselves. Improvisation is what makes it exciting and interesting to me, both as a listener and as a player. And it allows the music to be something that's part of the moment, that's part of the moment with the audience, and the audience influences it, and there's a lot of exchange back and forth. So that's the way I like to work, and it's the way the dead have always worked. And it's, it's sad to me that not too many other popular rock music kind of groups uh, tap into that great source of, of energy and inspiration of, of, of more open kinds of improvisation or taking more chances on stage. I mean, it seems most pop music wants to provide, you know, a very plastic, sanitary package that's exactly the same every time you hear it. And uh, that's not certainly not what I'm interested in doing. And um, also I would say about the improvisation, having a very democrat democratic relationship between people in the group where they can all express themselves or do whatever they want to and everybody's equal and no one's a leader or no one's bossing anybody else around, um, really you can only do that in an improvised kind of situation ideally. So it's both the socially the way I like to work and musically. TC Tom Constantin playing with us for a few gigs lately. And we got along very, very well, I and mean, we found we very sympathetic personalities for working with each other for, for perhaps a variety of reasons. And so I said, well, why don't you open a show for us and, and, and also sit in with us? And he said, great. And we did. It just felt really natural and comfortable, and we had a great time, and we seemed to like some of the same kinds of musical jokes and surprises. Uh, and he's an amazing player. If the new fans who come to me the Dark Star and the Dead kind of stuff and more rock type things, when they hear some of the experimental things I do, often they really, really relate to that very, very well, I think, because they've had uh, an appreciation for improvisation uh, and, and eclecticism in, instilled in them from going to Dead shows. Now, I define myself as a, just a really eclectic guitarist who, who takes from the whole tradition of, their, of, of everything that I've heard, and I'm trying to make new things that... Uh, nobody's heard before. And that's how I think it's different from kind of the so-called postmodernist aesthetic where they just take a bunch of things from the past and stick them together. But I'm trying to understand the past and then make something really new now. You know, trying to, to show you what guitar is going to sound like 15 years from now. I figure that's what my job is, is to do that. <laughs> 